with rap music, there's always this energy that uh, this good thing happens and then we've made it. Promotion, all this like putting your face out there stuff is cool, but it's better to play the long game and be stable than try to play a quick game. You gotta be intentional about something real. My name is Mike. I'm a musician, I produce and I make raps. When I was younger, it was hard for me to just like talk about emotional stuff. Music became a thing where it was, that was the one place where it was vulnerability was like, okay. For me to feel like my whole self and not just the bit that's like conforms to the rest of what the world wants me to conform to. Where the confidence comes from really is like, a lot of the people that I was around, I could just see the potential. And it's, it's what draws me to the people around me too. I'm just like, bro, like these people are like real characters. There's a badge of honor in the sense of like the people that we work with, like family, like, and it's kind of bigger than just the music aspect. It's like kind of like really like bring you in like to the family that we have. Usually it'll probably be like, maybe not so many of us, but like little sections of us making music together. I don't know, it's just like, nah, this like, it's my dog. Like I feel safe with this person. I feel like, like I can trust all these people. We operate as like, you know, a serious thing. There's care that's put into it, but it's just like no expectations, but like really creative and, and fun. The confidence comes from my friends and my family, being able to make a safe space. People need these spaces to like become those people. It's crazy, but I, I just be thinking about the power of bringing life like out of nothing. Like I have my, my studio set up in my room. I had got this laptop from like high school, 2016. Basically like all the music I made until like two months ago was like off of that laptop. And that was like basically the thing that jump started like my like career. New York is one place like I have a lot of family, like a lot of people that I'm like close to. And the people I was going to high school with is a few homies that also like wanted to do rap stuff. So then we started doing like live shows. That's really how our name got around was like doing live shows together. I think like people sometimes say that, like we brought in like a new sound of music. As the scene kind of pertained to this Lower East Side Manhattan kind of like environment, I saw them perform and they just seemed a bit different from what I had known about everybody else. Intentional, introspective, confidence. 10K, I feel like it really just became a thing where like making something that is like bigger than for just us, like where we could like kind of like spread our resources for like other people, like bring other people in and like, it's more so just in like family and friendship. I still stutter when I talk. I still say like all the time, like I'm not ready to be that uh, type of guy, you know, but I know the guy that I am, like in a sense, like my style is like speaking about how you feel and like speaking about all these things you've gone through, like, and there's people actually listening and then like, replying back and like, you know, like you're giving them hope, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like a different type of like confidence because you, now you're just getting used to being yourself. All my homies, like, I'm just peeping all these individual styles. I'm like, bro, like you're bringing something like new to this thing. Our goal is just to like, make sure that like people see the, the art that's being made or like, or like the different styles like that's like being created. With rap music, there's always this energy that uh, this good thing happens and then from here, you're like, we've made it. Or like, this is it. This is your big moment. 2017, we signed this record deal. A lot of people were very excited for us when we had first uh, went out to London. There was a lot of things that we had put forward. They'd be like, okay, yeah, for sure. And then the idea is just gone. And eventually I was just like, I'm not gonna do this no more. <laughs> like, we were supposed to make bread from it. We wasn't able to get the bread back. So now we're just back in Brooklyn, broke. But like, I came back with this, uh, this keychain and there was a still bucket already <laughs> just <laughs> in this crib in Brooklyn put it together and then it became this like spectacle, you know, and like like now that's the thing that till today is like a part of my catalog. You have to fight against these people that are trying to mold you. And at first it's not gonna be the easiest, but it's better to play the long game and be stable than, than try and play a, a quick game and lose everything. About like not buying into your own myth is it's really just trying to keep the uh, like traditional methods of like things that you use to keep moving like forward, you know? We love money, we gonna get to the bag, but 
we also are kind of thinking about bigger things and just like execute money execute money is like for right now like I have more than enough around me, you know what I mean, to do what I need to do.